it's time to actually load a PD patch into our application. We'll head to viewcontroller.h and then we'll import this new class. So under the UI kit import statement, import and then PD patch. And we'll create a public property on the view controller within the interface. That's at sign property and open the parentheses. We'll make it strong because the view controller owns it. Non-atomic. And then it'll be of the type PD patch. And then we'll call it patch. So now we'll go to viewcontroller.m and we'll head to the implementation. And then we will initialize our new patch within view did load. So just after this comment, I'll type self.patch equals, and then a set of brackets and another set of brackets, PD patch space alloc, and then init, and we see our method init with file. Now the file is called main PD, so at sign quote quote within that main.pd. That's all that there should be when we want to load our patch. I've got the simulator running, I'll stop it and then run it again. And it should work, and it does, but how do you know that? Let's go ahead and break it. So now I'll go into self.patch within viewcontroller.m and let's take out a letter. Let's try and load a file that doesn't exist. Stop the simulator and run it again. And now when it runs, you can see that alert that we created within our pdpatch.m. Okay, so let me stop the simulator. And the next thing that we'll do is create an interface that will allow us to click a switch and then we'll connect that to our patch.